When one of our family members passes away, and if we choose cremation, it's rare that we consider that someone as young as five or has a disability can be the one to make the urn. This type of involvement can be incredibly beneficial to someone who's grieving that might not have the same communication skills that we do. Today, Professor Kimbo and I are going to build a Lego urn and give you all the details of what you need to know for this awesome project that anyone can do. Let's get to work. This is Carrie Peters Passing, the DIY funeral channel where you can create amazing celebration of life ceremonies for your loved one. There's two things that we need for today's project, some Lego and some glue. The average adult human takes up about 1.5 liters of space when they are in the form of cremated remains. If you think about a two liter juice jug, it would be a little bit smaller than this, but you'd be on the safe side to make it a full two liters. We're gonna begin with a flat piece of Lego and this is what we're going to build our urn on. We want to make sure that we do not glue the base piece on until the ashes are inside the urn. This way we can take our Lego urn to the funeral home and the ashes can be transferred without having to break the urn open. I'm going to begin by making a border around the base piece and it's from here that we can begin to glue the pieces. For this project, I'm going to add in a little man to watch over our family member that will be enclosed inside the urn and just have him looking out a window. Most kids want to be involved in the funeral process or at least want to contribute in some way. There are many therapists that use drawing or building a project like this as a way of opening up communication for people that don't necessarily have the same tools that we have. I think everyone has a difficult time and many people do need therapy after somebody close to them passes away, but maybe this is a good way to facilitate a conversation between you and the person that's building the urn. And maybe that's a conversation that wouldn't have happened otherwise. So this size should be big enough to hold an adult's cremated remains. I have a little window in here for our Lego person to watch out over them. This is 11 bricks high, not including the base. I'm gonna make a dome lid for on top of this just cause that's my preference. But you can make this into whatever shape you'd like. And here we have our Lego urn. I'm gonna go back in and glue all of these pieces down so that there is no chance that it will shatter if we drop it. The only part that I'm not going to glue down is going to be this green base piece so that the funeral home is able to put the ashes inside for us. This project doesn't have to be just for little kids. This can be for people of any age. I know lots of people in their 30s and 40s that love playing Lego, and this might be a suitable urn for somebody like them. 
I hope that today's project has inspired a few ideas as to how you can be more involved in the funeral service of your family member. This project can also be made into a keepsake urn if you just want to keep a little bit of the ashes. Professor Kimbo and I would like to thank you so much for watching the show today. We'll see you next time in two weeks on the next episode of Carrie Peters Passing. Bye for now. Thank you.